Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. And strike talks have stalled between the UAW and General Motors. This is the 22nd day picketers have been on the line. UAW leaders say they sent a proposal to GM over the weekend covering key issues that include pay, job security, and pensions. The UAW union says GM responded by reverting back to the company's last proposal. Now, dozens of striking workers walked the picket line Sunday outside the Detroit Hamtramck plant. Union members say even though the plant is scheduled to close in January, that won't stop their fight. Now, General Motors sent uh, 7 Action News a comment saying, we continue to negotiate in good faith with very good proposals that benefit employees today and build a stronger future for all of us. We are committed to conducting discussions around the clock to reach a solution. Well, back here at home, a man accused of making bomb threats against nine churches in Royal Oak now faces charges. 33-year-old Adam Laird faces multiple felony counts, a false report uh, or threat of terrorism. He's now being held on $50,000 bond. The churches received email threats Friday and reported those threats to the FBI. Right now, investigators say they're unsure of a motive, but if convicted, Laird could be sentenced to up to 20 years behind bars. It's in the 50s this morning, and a few temperature readings are dropping out for some reason. I'll have to check into that. But right now in Dearborn, reading 56 degrees in Commerce Township, it's about 50. Highs today going to be in the upper 60s, awfully close to 70 degrees. It's about 4 degrees above average today. And a closer look into Southfield. First off, sunrise time 737. And our sun goes down just a few minutes after 7 p.m. now. But in Southfield, 65 by 1 p.m. Highs today there will be in the upper 60s. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News.